All right, today I'll be showing you how to make a text follow a shape or a path, and it's pretty easy, it won't take long. So first step is to make a new composition. Uh, you know, you can put whatever settings you want, but I'll make it uh, 720 by 480, five seconds is good. And uh, first step is to make a solid. And this is optional, you don't have to, but I like to make my backgrounds pretty. And I'll add a quick circle so it doesn't look too too bold. And uh, I mean, this tutorial is gonna be pretty quick, and I don't want it to be that quick, so that's why I'm making this cute background. It's not too cute. But... All right, so now you can lock you can lock this background. Uh, make a new text, you can right click right here, new text, or you can just click on the T. And you can put whatever text you like, I'll put my name. And uh, now select your layer, make sure, make sure it's selected, because if it's not, then when you make a path, it will just make a new shape layer, and you don't want that. Uh, same thing with uh, a, sh uh, a shape or a path, it will make a new shape layer. And that's not good. So select your layer, your text layer, and I'll make a square. And now here you'll see where it says masks. You can add non subtract, but you don't want that. You are going to twirl down the text, and with just path options, you're going to select mask one, which is your mask right here. And that's pretty much it for to align your text with your shape and you can make your shape whatever you want. It doesn't have to be square. And now to animate this, it's pretty easy. These these right here are the basic controls. So the two main ones we're gonna use are either first margin or last margin. You don't have to use both. So I'm gonna just click on first margin. If you scroll this you can see what it does and if you don't want it to be inside if you want it to be outside you can reverse the path and I'll do that and I kind of like it like this it looks like a roller coaster so I'm going to do that and I'm going to line it here so it's on the top and click on the stopwatch to enable the animation and I'm going to scroll to frame 2 or 2 seconds and let's make this first margin just go all the way around and now if you preview this you can run preview it with the zero in the numerical pad and uh, that's pretty much it if you don't like the how it stops at the end you can make this an easy ease keyframe and it will be smoother as you can see same thing with this easy ease And that's it. I'll, I'm gonna show you how to make. I'll kind of do it with the path. So let's delete. Oops. Let's delete the, the mask. And uh, with the layer selected, make a path. And that's it. Uh, now you don't need this. So go to text, path, path options, and mask one. And it will do the same. It's literally the, the same steps as you did it before with the shape so keyframe in the beginning of the of the timeline and then and there you go and remember to make easy ease keyframes you can uh, press F9 for that and it does that by itself you can see and select here too F9 and that's it and also you can edit the keyframes by just if you don't want it to go out of the frame and then that's a pretty cool effect man kind of fun alright well that's it for this tutorial see you soon subscribe